When you find a fishing destination that you really enjoy, you come back again and again. This is not my first trip to this place and it certainly won't be my last. We're going offshore fishing in the next half hour in search of red snapper, grouper, and cobia. Glad you're with us. The next half hour is going to be a lot of fun. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Hi everyone, I'm coming to you this week from one of my favorite coastal fishing destinations on the Atlantic coast. Coming to you today from a little place called Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. It's just a little bit south of Myrtle Beach, and it's home to all kinds of fun, family activities, water sports, but most importantly, I'm here for the fishing. Now, I'm standing here right now in the middle of kind of the Central Entertainment District. In fact, you can see right over here, this is the world famous Marsh Walk. It's got all kinds of dining, great seafood, great entertainment, live music. It's got a big walkway that goes all the way out in the marsh. You've got all your charter boats right here ready to take folks out fishing. This is the mecca for all kinds of family entertainment. This week though, I'm gonna be joined in the boat by Captain Inglis Glover or Captain E as he's known around these parts. He's been doing the freshwater and saltwater fishing reports for the Southeast version of our show for the Carolinas and Georgia for many years now. But today he plays fishing guide and we're gonna be going 23 miles offshore to catch some offshore species. More on that in a moment. While we're doing that today, we're taking you around your local region for this week's fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays near you, both freshwater and saltwater. And today we're gonna to be making the journey in my brand new Mamba 24VX. This is a custom built boat, brand new on the market very recently by my good friends, Jared and Jim Poole, in Corpus Christi, Texas. They've designed this boat with every detail in mind. It's got an aerated step pad hull that allows you to go fast when the water's calm, but it's got a wave breaking bow that'll allow you to get out in some pretty big chop like we might be in when we're headed offshore. It's got all the details, well designed, very dry boxes, a high floor that drains water very well and much more on the Mamba a little bit later. Right now though, we're gonna go pick up Captain E. Next time you see us, we'll be on our way offshore. Let's get this started back at the studio and your weekend plan. Thanks so much for joining us for yet another episode of Let's Fish. The Salooner Tables are predicting fair game fish activity throughout both days this weekend. Peak game fish activity begins around 7.15 Saturday and 8.18 on Sunday morning. Evening action will begin around 7.53 on Saturday and 8.59 Sunday night. Depending on your area, expect the sun to rise around 6.44 and set around 8.21. Evenings will feature a first quarter moon that is 62% visible. Make sure to stay right here so you can check out all of the current fishing reports from throughout the area. And I'll return with Bass Master Elite Angler John Cox on this week's Ask a Pro feature. There we go. You got it, you got it? Yep, there we go. I'm gonna tighten this drag up a little bit. I don't... All right, we got a fish on everybody. Yeah. This is acting kind of red snapper. English Glover, my buddy, has tied into something. <laughs> and I'm we'll up see. there on the active target, the Lawrence active target, helping coach him put the bait. Right you in actually front of the did. Fish. You that actually was, put me right on it. So there was a big ball of bait. Yep. And there, whatever this fish is was right underneath it. It looked like a snapper. Guess what? How about a red snapper? Yep, that's good. Let me How grab the net. That fish. I saw that fish on my active target. Here we go. Yeah. That would be a keeper. What do you what is a keeper? 20 inches now is the uh, is our state law. You know, it has to be in state waters. And uh, that's a beautiful genuine red snapper. Wow, he had just a big old piece of squid. All right. So that's really interesting. Um, 
this is not a giant fish by any stretch, no. but, it, but at least it tells us that there are some snapper in the area. So we've pulled up on a little hard bottom spot. Everything else is soft and we've got one little spot that's got a real hard bottom. Yep. And there was a bunch of bait right above it. And then just underneath it, we saw a couple of these swimming around. And I kind of watched on my screen and uh, English dropped his bait right on top of this fish and he bit it. Wait All right, there we go. Red snapper, back he goes. Gone. See you, buddy. The so the area that we've come to out here, again, we've got a beautiful day to do this. Absolutely. But you call this a tabletop. The tabletop. Right? Yeah, it's a uh, piece of limestone, uh, probably eroded out around the outside of it, and it does look like a table. Comes up about 8 to 10 foot. And all of these red snapper, you got gag grouper here. Uh, we'll have white grunts, black sea bass, everything here. Amber jacks. A lot of amber jacks, and I'm. He waiting. doesn't. He doesn't like amber jacks. We'll nope. talk about that. First later. amber jack that hits, Barry gets. It. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got to start anyway out of Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, home of English Glover, and uh, just a gorgeous day. Hopefully, we'll get onto something, but we've got to start for one red snapper. Let's see if there's any more down. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's report. This week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina, the leader in water sports on the Grand Strand. We've been doing it right and we've been doing it for a long time. Fall is just around the corner. You want to come down and have a great time with the kids? Come down and visit Crazy Sister Marina. Let's talk salt water. We're going to stay. Uh, hey, I'm back here in the back creeks. I got my sidekick, Russ Russ, with me. We're targeting flounder and it's a great thing to get out and target right now. Whether you're in the back creeks, the jetties, or on the nearshore reefs, and our good buddies in North Carolina, they're getting ready to get their chance at them as well. We're out with live mullet, fishing a deep hole right off of a shallow oyster flat. Also, let's talk about the Spanish mackerel bite that'll start happening on those jetties, on those reefs. Good live bait. You can catch some real big Spanish this time of the year on live mullet. And remember, it's a great time to get out and go fishing. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. Get off, get off the bottom. Oh. That's grouper. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, go. Yes. No, he got off. Oh, no, no he, he didn't. didn't. No, he 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 didn't. They tried to hit him. Look at that grouper. Is that a grouper? Look at here. That's a grouper. Yes, that's a grouper. That's oh, what dude. we came for. Look at here. Yes, look at that. Get him in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the cobia. Get the cobia. Get the cobia. <laughs> get my look good, at that cobia. Get my bait up. Wow. Uh, look at that cobia. Yeah. Look at There's another one with him. Look at that one right there. Oh. Get you. Oh, oh here. Okay. Calm hang down, on. English. You're going to gonna need a heart pill. So let me, let me, <laughs> let me calm things down <laughs> just a little bit. English is a little bit excitable. <laughs> so we've made a little move to a little ledge drop off out here 23 miles off Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Yep. This is what we were actually fishing for. We wanted to catch a grouper. We've got amberjack and we've got some snapper swimming around, but we've actually caught, is this a gag grouper? This is a gag grouper. Look at that, dude. Yay! We got lucky, Barry. We got lucky. So yeah. tell me about a gag grouper. So these are bottom dwelling These are bottom fish, dwellers. Right yep. on these ledges on the hard bottom out here on sand, but you'll find a little piece of hard limestone, which is what we found. That's right. And they're below the snapper most yep. of the time and below the amberjack and below everything else. But that's what we're actually fishing for right there. They're beautiful. That's, that's a prize. I've never caught one, but now I've been in the boat with one that's Well, we're gonna caught. get you one. All right, and while he, go ahead and release yeah, that fish. We're that gonna right. put him back and away he goes. Oh. So what happened was while Inglis was fighting that fish up, a couple of big cobia, and I mean, they were, <laughs> you know, four feet long, five feet yep. long, followed that grouper up. And we were trying to pitch a bait in on that cobia so we could catch him because I guarantee you we want to catch a cobia if we can. <laughs> That's what happens out here in salt water. And that is a cool scene that just happened right there. And to get him hollering and screaming and yelling like that, that's worth my <laughs> price of admission right there. <laughs> hey, you know me. there is no telling what's li liable to happen out here today. There is no telling. Absolutely not. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors, making it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Visit Mississippi, Wanderers Welcome, Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Balls Out, Made in the USA, Heavy Duty Mounts for your fish finders. Cobia, big one. And a monster. Oh my gosh. Just take your time. Oh my Calm gosh. Down. Oh, 
that's him. He got it. He got it right there. Yep, yep, he got it. He's got it in his mouth. All right, get ready. You ready? Yep. There he is. All right, that's not a grouper. Don't know what it is, but it is not a grouper. Oh. It's going right back under the boat again. Yep. Oh, boy. That's not a grouper. Acting sharky? Uh, or amberjack. Oh, 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 oh. I said it's not a grouper. Hang on. Whatever it is, it swims really fast. Could be a cobia. Cobia! Big one. And a monster! Oh, my just, gosh. Just take your time. Oh, my Calm gosh. Down. Take a heart oh pill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Take a heart pill. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, you want to talk about a 60-pound cobia? We got him right here. Look at that. Okay, there he comes. That is a lot of good eating. Look at that right there. What a great fish. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Look Beautiful. at that. Beautiful. A jumping wow, cobia. Wow, a cobia coming out the water. That is awesome right there. You don't get to see that a lot. <laughs> wow. Oh, he is not happy. That is well within legal range. That's 40, 45, I'd probably say. 40, In 45. Inches. Pounds. Pounds. I okay. would say, yeah, if you pick him up, you'll see. They're thick. Um, and since we're not set up to keep him, I say we go ahead and just uh, let him go, but I wanted to talk about it real quick. You know, the nearshore reefs this time of the year um, are covered with them. We catch these cobia migrating. They're following the manhaden along the beach. They're following the cigar minnows, the greenback herring out here. And we've already seen this fish, what, once or twice come up with us already. And he's got at least another fish with him, another cobia with him. But they do a lot of mess in a boat, and we don't want to mess up this beautiful yeah, boat. Yeah, so. so we're just gonna, we're showing him to you right now, yep. and then we're gonna cut this fish off and let him go. And we're, everybody's gonna be throwing up because they know how good they taste. I know, people are gonna be mad right, at us everywhere. Sometimes you just gotta do the right thing. All right, you hold him right there. Okay, folks, here goes the Kobe, here he goes. I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna reach in there because he's- There he goes, watch this, he's gonna swim away. Bye bye. What a <laughs> good job, brother. Hey, hey. Oh, I know one man. thing. Once again, just to explain, so we're out here on this ledge drop off. We're in uh, 55 to 60 feet of water, and it literally only goes from 55 to 60. Yep. I'm showing you the drop off on the Lawrence Active Target, and there's a big school of bait that's just hanging right above that ledge, and you can see the bait all in there, and then occasionally you'll see these fish swimming through the bait. Could be a good grouper, big cobia like that. Um, could be red snapper. There are some sharks. And amberjacks. Out, and amberjacks yep. out here. So we've just got a little bit of everything, but that is worth the trip. Absolutely. Right there, buddy. Congratulations. You're good luck yeah. for the cobia. Yeah, I caught one a few years ago. You sure here did. With you. So uh, anyway, hang in here. We're gonna get re-rigged and see what else happens here, but it is one heck of a day out on the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean, out of Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Hey y'all, it's my favorite part of the show, the Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. This segment's brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Garmison with Ugly Fishing. And uh, you can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. Here on the Alabama coast, we've been targeting a lot of everything that swims, but the, the, hot, the star of the show right now has been the jacks. These guys are mean, they don't quit, they will hit just about anything you throw at them. We've been really trying to find those schools that are real tight together, throwing some top water. Along the Mississippi coast, I uh, talked to Ronnie Daniels, Fisherman Guide Service. He said that the Bluxy Marsh is really full of life, uh, probably the most life he's seen in several years. And he said that targeting the, the speckled trout under the diving birds has been money. Throwing popping corks with high tide lures and the sweetheart color has been the, his bait of choice. In the Georgia coast, uh, uh, Chris Lane, said that the that the offshore fishing for red snapper and vermilion snapper has been good around the snapper banks thanks for tuning in for this report remember what my buddies from the speckle truth say and that's keep what you need and leave the rest let's fish tv is proudly backed by lose feel the difference mamba boats ride with pride strike king tie one on Glacier Glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Fishing Specialties. Makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. 
What do you got? Oh, I don't know. Keep going the other way. something all right well it's not anything real big but something off the bottom i tell you what what do you got i don't know i'm gonna it's got a head shake like a snapper maybe could be a black sea bass it's a, i don't know I, that's why i love bottom fishing you never know you never know what you're gonna pull up but we did have a, we've got a huge school of amberjack swimming right here yeah i know i can see them on my active target yep. up here they're they look like blimps they look like oh, a hidden what's this it is a trigger fish a gray trigger fish and you know typically they're a deeper fish but we'll take that all day long now you want to talk about some good eats really trigger fish really they eat is good? one of the most incredible absolutely and believe it or not and i'm gonna let you touch him believe it or not they actually make belts and such out of this hide that they have really touch it real quick feel it oh yeah it is uh it's that's better weird. than leather it feels like leather so that's a that's a good eating fish that's a then. really good eating and fish. is that a good size trigger this fish? is a decent size for inshore yeah. absolutely so yeah. so if we were keeping fish today that if would we were keeping him we'd be taking him home yep and then i'll tell you you know you peel the skin off and what that's the deal you cut you an outside cut here peel the skin off and you got a beautiful white meat but we're gonna let him go all right all Thank right see if we can get through the sharks and the amberjacks he's gone <laughs> So you go. literally, we've got some of everything swimming around here. We've got, we've got some small snapper on the bottom. We've got big, huge amberjack that we can literally see with our polarized sunglasses on, uh, swimming about 20 feet down. And this water is so clear, you can see every fish in here. And then we're trying to catch a grouper. They live down on the bottom, so you've literally got a chance to catch everything. Everything. In Why do you spot. think I brought you to do this? <laughs> Hey fishing friends, thanks for joining today's episode. This is your Alabama, Tennessee, and Mississippi fishing port. So let's jump ahead and let's get started. Right now we're on beautiful Carroll County Thousand Acre Lake. We are uh, trying to find these big fish. Right now they're in these brush piles, just sitting right over the thermocline. Right now I'm throwing the mag draft, an A-rig, and a jerk bait. Let's go over to Alabama. Alabama Pickwick Lake is fishing phenomenal. There's a bunch of fish up shallow. You can go out there, throw a chatterbait, square bill, spinner bait around those docks that go find that grass go get in that shady banks in mississippi lake sardis is fishing really good the catfish is on fire if you guys want to go catch some big catfish you guys need to go get in that main creek channels there's big brush piles down there and i promise you if you go throw some live cut bait you'll go catch some giant catfish thanks for joining guys i hope you guys have learned something from this see you guys later what do you got oh. I don't know. Keep going the other way. All right, English Glover back on again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Now you're making some headway. Yep. Yeah. Might be might be a grouper. I don't know. Might be. I don't know. It's always the joys of the mystery while you're reeling. Up. Oh, it is. We got a long leader on here. Oh, no, that's it's a good a red, red snapper. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Look at here, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There's your red snapper. We have caught a nice red snapper. Now, come here. We're at Merle's Inlet today, and uh, English, we're in the summertime, and you said for this area, that's a good snapper, right? I mean, it is. A, it's a, a, it's a, a good snapper. Fish. It's a great quality for fish. In, for as close in as we are. They're in 60 foot of water, and a great quality of red snapper. South Carolina, we do have the new regulation. Two fish per person, 20 inches or over, but it's got to be caught in state waters. Turn, turn him. You got to go. Oh. oh, there he goes. Look at him. Look at him. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. All right. So again, we're fishing this. What you call is it a live bottom? This is a live or, bottom. Live, this, he, right. So basically, what you have is just a big flat ocean floor out here with nothing on it. But then you have these little outcroppings. That's right. right. And that's what's going to keep your bait fish there, your big fish. And what we were on here is we've got some areas of hard limestone that have started some growth on them. Uh, what what we're fishing on here is about a two foot ledge. Really, I mean, you found it, 
it's a real short ledge, a little shallow ledge with a little change in contour, and it, it, it entices the bait fish to stay here. You know, a lot of people in South Carolina, North Carolina consider having to go 100, you know, foot, 140 foot this time of the year to catch grouper. We're catching these grouper and snapper right here in 60 foot of water. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury. Go boldly. Lorance, America's number one fish finder. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor. Powered by passion. Coastline Trailers. Built by fishermen for fishermen. So glad to have you back with us. It is time now for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Xander would like to know, if you had one do-over in your career, what would it be? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler, John Cox. We fished a tournament on St. John's River. Um, I, I really struggled day one, lost some fish, caught them really good day three, caught like 30-something pounds. Uh, day four went out and uh, lost them. And lost, I mean, I mean, I'm not talking like, you know, four or five pounders lost like a nine, lost like another one about seven. Like it was, it was so heartbreaking and I wanted to win so bad on my home pond. Uh, so that one I definitely want, want to do over. Thanks so much, John. If you have a question for one of the pros to visit our website, click on the Ask the Pro link and send it in. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We're back at the Inlet Sports Lodge in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina for the Academy Right Stuff, the right gear to go out and catch these offshore species, the snapper, the grouper, and the cobia. It's what's known here locally as a grouper rig. It's a three-way swivel. On one end of it is a long leader with a circle hook. Now this circle hook is to hook those fish right in the lip. It's about a six or eight foot long leader to get it away from the weight and away from the swivel. Then on the other drop of that three-way swivel is an eight ounce sinker for that really deep water we were fishing. We use three baits to catch these fish, live menhaden, live pinfish, and squid. The older I get, the more I find myself saying three simple words, I don't know. Back when I was younger, I thought I had to come up with an answer for all of life's questions. But the longer I live, the more I realize there are things that are simply not fair, not just, and not explainable. And to those things, I've learned to say, I don't know. And I'll let God, who is much more capable, sort out all of those kinds of questions. And I found that the more I do that, the easier it is and the better I can deal with life's most difficult challenges. Our special thanks this week goes to Captain E, Inglis Glover, who not only does a great job doing all the fishing reports for our southeast version of our show from the Carolinas and Georgia, but he played fishing guide today and managed to catch all the big fish, did all the heavy lifting. Captain E, you are the man. And our Mamba 24 VX did a great job getting us 23 miles offshore, 23 miles back safely in a nice smooth ride. And if you're coming to Merle's Inlet, be sure and stay at the Inlet Sports Lodge right behind me. You can get in touch with them at the contact information you see on your screen. From Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, until next week, I'm Barry Stokes saying let's fish everybody. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.